This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, does this patient have intraorbital pathology? Retinal detachment, vitreous hemorrhage, and other orbit pathology can be difficult to diagnose with traditional physical exam. Ultrasound can help make the diagnosis much easier. To begin with, place a large amount of ultrasound gel on the probe if the patient is upright or on the closed eyelid if the patient is supine. Be sure that the eyelid is closed before applying gel to the eye. There is no need to cover the eye with tegaderm or other protective barrier. Gently place the linear probe transversely across the eye with the probe orientation to the patient's right. Be sure to anchor your hand somewhere on the patient's face. This will avoid the probe inadvertently sliding as well as avoid undue pressure on the eye. Rock the probe up and down to scan completely through the eye. You can also have the patient look up, down, left, or right to assist in fully evaluating the orbit. In general, the eye should be a big circle of black anechoic vitreous fluid. Normal landmarks are the lens anteriorly, and the optic nerve posteriorly. You are looking for any consistently seen extra echoes in the orbit. If you see an echoic structure, it is almost always going to be abnormal pathology. You can assess if the structure attaches to the posterior eye, making retinal detachment more likely, or if it is free-floating, making vitreous hemorrhage, dislocated lens, or foreign body more likely, depending on the clinical context. If there is any concern for open orbit injury, it is critical to place as little pressure on the eye as possible. This is easy if you use a lot of ultrasound gel and anchor your hand. This has been another bit of ultrasound with Z.